<clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Good morning, everybody. Let's go. Let's go. The market's actually popping up in a big way today. We're getting a lot of these growth stocks popping to the upside. SPY ran right up to $400 in pre-market trading today, guys. This was insane. I could not believe that we were running up and retesting $400 already this morning. You know, I thought maybe once the market opened, we'd get a nice move up or something like that. But man, that is insane. Look at that. Right at $400.05, like right around that big resistance there. I don't know. You know, I would say that given the way that we've been moving lately, it's hard for me to say that we're not going to break this. You know, I mean, with the way that we moved up today, heading up right into this resistance, there's a lot of good positive price action. And yeah, I just don't know uh, what we're going to be doing here. I would say just wait for the break of 400, you know, because there's not really a there's not really too much of an opportunity up into 400. There is actually a little bit, but if you trade the break, I think you might be getting into something a little bit better if we do see that break end up coming in. 
Uh, we have to be just very careful, though, because that resistance is huge, and it could reject pretty much around here anytime. So, wow, yeah, Mua says, going for some spy calls. Corbin says, it's Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> Happy hump day, Corbin. Yes, it is. It's Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Now you're getting me confused. Yeah, it is Wednesday. <laughs> okay. That's what I thought. Marty says, good morning. Looking for cardboard box to move into. Had puts last night on Tesla and Spy. Oh, man, Marty. Ooh, sorry about that. Don't uh, don't be living in the box, Marty. Man, that's crazy, though. Don't over leverage. You know, we got to be careful out there with how much we're putting into each play. Just don't over leverage. I know it can be tempting to, you know, try and make more sometimes, but just don't over leverage. <laughs> Bill W says eggshells again. That's right. But hey, thank you, Keisha, Jamie, Bill, Christian, Mua, Corbin, Warren. Thank you guys for being here. Pretty good morning so far. I will say I'm feeling a I'm feeling all right this morning. <laughs> How are you guys feeling? Hopefully you guys had a great night, had some good stuff happen. Wow, that spy is rejecting though. We did hit that four hundred dollar area in pre market. Now we are starting to pop back down just a little bit more. So. Hmm, looking at the spy here, I think just yeah, like I said, like waiting for that breakout is gonna be the big way to go in my opinion. We could always play it down, but as of right now, the way it's looking, I wouldn't play it down yet. Not yet. DraftKings was breaking out today in a big way again. I hope you guys saw that one. It was actually a really nice break. You can see it's kind of moving above that trend line here. And if we go to the daily chart, that trend line is fantastic. That trend line looks great, you know, just a nice trend line. We bounced off of it. One, two, three, four. Now we're moving above it on like the fifth cut. So love to see that. Love it. <clears throat> ah, Keisha says, go get some monster. Help clear your throat. I know, right? I got some Gatorade right here, though. Got some Gatorade. We'll have to take that. Nice. Christian says he jumped on Tesla 135s. I'm guessing he means some calls. I guess you mean calls, right, Christian? Or are you hopping into puts here? Tesla is starting to look a little bit bearish in the short term. Starting to fall down. Ah, Joshua says, can we talk about AAL? 100% we can. Let's go look at it. AAL. It's up about 30%-ish in a week or so. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, let's let's check it out though. See how much it's up. So we'll go back. Last week. We'll go to Monday of last week. So from the beginning of Monday last week to now, yeah, AAL is up 24%. And if you go to the low, yeah, you're talking even better than that. You're looking at like 40% actually. Wow, 40% Joshua. Even better than you thought it was. But yeah, 40%. I mean, that's actually amazing. Can't lie about that. 40% is a huge uptrend. And I know that these airlines have had some good earnings lately. So for example, AAL still has to report. But we already had Delta report. And it went pretty well. And then we had UAL report. Yesterday, I think it was, and they ended up doing well too. So we're seeing a lot of good earnings reports coming in with these companies. And a lot of them are starting to run up. You know, even Southwest has been up a lot. So it looks like just like across the board, these stocks are starting to move up, which is awesome. I mean, that's great to see. Glad to see them running up like this. It's just, you know, at this point, they're getting to be a little bit too high. So Joshua, it's just, it's getting to that point where I'm getting a little bit worried that we might start to slow down just a little bit more. But, you know, AAL does have a lot of great momentum. I mean, fantastic momentum. Love the momentum. Wow, Spy still rejecting? Crazy move, though. 
go back to the DraftKings. Let's go ahead and eye up my uh, my watch list here. See what we have on here. Wow, Moderna is actually on there. Moderna had a great morning. Let's go, Moderna. That's great. Guys, this one was looking awesome. I talked about this in, I think, Monday night's video. And check this out. Moderna had broken out above like 188, 190. Pushed up to above 200 now. So keep your eyes on good old Moderna. One of those healthcare stocks starting to boom. Like it? What's up with Bed Bath & Beyond again? Wow, they're moving up in a crazy way. Starting to fall off here at open, but man, up already 4%. It doesn't even look that crazy, though, given their stock. But Dang, DraftKings, come on now. Come on now, we're trying. Charge point here. Nothing too crazy. Let's go ahead and check out some news for the week, guys, because I know that we have some pretty big stuff. We had the PPI data come out this morning and the retail sales. So let's go ahead and check out, like, Walmart. Ooh, Walmart's down. Costco had a bit of a dip. Target's moving up, though. There we go, Target. <laughs> okay. Hopefully Target outperforms, you know. Target has been extremely low, guys, and they bounced off of a support recently right off of 140. Right at 140. I know that we've talked about Target a few times. No, we've talked about it. Over the past, you know, little while. JBHT, Keisha says. JBHT. Never heard of this one. JB, now I've heard of it. I just didn't know what it was. Hell yeah, Christian got some weekly calls. There we go. Tesla calls. Very nice, Christian. Come on, Tesla. Need to get up here soon. <clears throat> Joshua says, I want some puts. Maybe for March or next year, January on AAL. I'm going to load up here soon. You know, Joshua, I... I hate to say it, but I'm not sure I would do it on this one, on these ones with that. Whenever I look at this chart, I mean, AAL is still so low. I feel like that there's still like some possible way they could like pop up before going lower again. I don't know. That's just me though. Do your own due diligence, of course, but I don't know. I'm kind of hoping for a nice recovery out of these airlines after that 2020 disaster. I'm not sure it can get much worse than that, guys, when they shut down travel for a little while. That was insane. These poor companies. Man. Not poor companies. I'm not saying they're terrible, but I, I mainly feel bad for the poor people who invested in them, honestly. Warren says, why is UAL tanking? I thought that they beat on earnings. They did initially. They did. They must have uh, fallen back off. Yeah, so they did well yesterday. Now they're coming back down today. Yeah, Warren, that's just stocks for you. I can't fucking tell you. They do good on earnings, they go down. They do bad on earnings, they go up. I mean, it's like, what the hell? I don't know. Very weird, though, Warren. I'd say I'd say that's weird, in my opinion. Hmm. Especially considering the other ones are holding up. Like, that's funny. Like, look at uh, DAL, Delta. <laughs> they're holding up a lot better, and they moved. From that move with UAL last night. <laughs> but they're holding up better than UAL. So. Huh. The hell is going on here guys? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh man. Hey guys. Smash that like button. If you guys are enjoying the stream. I appreciate you all joining up here today. Pretty good day. Yeah. Stocks are weird sometimes Warren. That's how those earnings just go. Talking about earnings though. We do have DFC. I believe Discover reporting tonight. So watch out for Discover. That's going to be a pretty big stock. Tomorrow is going to be the big day. We have Netflix and Procter and & Gamble. Funny enough, Joshua just asked, you playing Netflix earnings? I'm going to strangle it. I'm thinking 20 bucks in each direction. Pure gamble. Yeah, might not be a bad gamble, Joshua. Might not be too bad. Uh, Netflix, let's go check out the chart. Let me go look at it real quick. 
He's looking to do a little bit of like a strangle on it. I know Mike would kill me if I did a strangle on it because the chances of that working are low. But this is honestly a really big rejection here at like 3.30. Man, I would almost watch it gap up. I, I would like to play Netflix to the downside given we're at the resistance that we're at, but I don't know. It's actually recovered up a lot more than I thought it would. Like a lot more. And we're like right at that big resistance around 3.30, so... Hmm. Yeah, not looking too bad. Dang, that is insane, though, guys. This gap up that Netflix has done is crazy. Filled the gap to the upside. Looks good. Running right up the resistance. Wow. Yeah, this is crazy. Big run up to around 330, 340. That is just such a big gap. I know I've talked about this gap fill a lot here. Like a lot. Man, Boeing. Boeing has been, like, we talk about the airlines, like UAL, AAL, DAL. Boeing is really kind of surprising me here today. Can't believe the way that they've been moving like this. Wow. Big moves of the upside up above 200. Wow. Not bad. Not bad today. What? It Christian said, let's go Tesla. Uh-oh, are we going up? Oh, Kind of. Yeah, let's go Tesla, though. Christian's got some calls. Let's get up there, getting up into the green. Come on, let's go. Corner says, spy calls if we pass 400 and then some. Yeah, you know, I would say so. With the way that we're, like, double topping here, I think that if we break 400 this time, it should start to go, I would think. I would think they start to go. Joshua says, has Netflix had any good news? Yeah, they did add the uh, ad-supported tier, Joshua. You're right. They added... They did an ad-supported tier. That's so weird. They added the ad-supported tier. So hopefully that didn't sound too weird. But yeah, they're pretty much doing a bunch of ads. Make more profit, obviously, like Joshua said. Um, you can do the ad-supported tier. I think it's like 6 bucks a month. And then the regular Netflix is like 8 I could be wrong. It might be eight and then like eleven bucks or something. I don't know, something like that. But uh, yeah, I haven't really seen too much good news either. Besides the ad supported tier, that's pretty much all I've seen with uh, good old Netflix lately. Let's go ahead and maybe look at some news. Uh oh, they did something today. They cut audience measurement deal with Nielsen. <laughs> that's funny. Wow. UBS upgraded Netflix's price, upgraded their price target from 250 up to 350. Wow, and Truist upgraded theirs too to 339. Okay. That was a while ago though. Hmm. Wow, okay. Yeah, I haven't seen too much news either, though, besides that. It does make me a little worried for the earnings, for sure. For sure, for sure.
QTRX. Yeah, look at QTRX from yesterday. That was a the big money play from last night's video. Starting to pop off a little bit here. I was really happy with that play. They got into the 12.5 calls. And I like that the uh, option expired in a month. I thought that was interesting. Most of the time, I don't know if it's the ones Mike gets or, or what, but they're always, you know, pretty either deep in the money or, you know, very far away on their expiration. Like some of these unusual options I see are like two years out sometimes. And while I don't mind it, it just, I feel like it's tough to follow along on those for a lot of traders, especially the shorter term people. Yeah, Christian, should have took gains at open. I guess so. I mean, man, it's just not getting any momentum going. I guess you're right. Yeah, it says bull trap for spy this morning. It's not a bull trap yet. I mean, I wouldn't have gotten yet unless I got above 400, but... Yeah, yes. Thanks for joining up, though. Thanks for being here. So if you uh, haven't yet, please subscribe. Smash that like button. I appreciate you. Appreciate everybody who joined up today. Let's go. Let's go. Let's kill it. Let's get some let's get some nice profits. You know, I want to see some nice posts in the Discord's profit channel later. That would be beautiful. I know Keisha had a very nice post in there yesterday. Kathy made 20% on uh SQ as well, which was awesome. I think that was Catherine from yesterday. Wow, Christian fired off more on the Tesla calls. Fired off more, wow. All right, Christian, if you win on this one, man, you got some balls of steel, man. <laughs> wow. Let's hope we get a nice bounce, though, maybe once they fill the gap around like 132. I can see something like that, maybe. Yeah, there we go. It's actually starting to happen now at 133. <laughs> That'd be nice if we could start to get a nice pop back up. It's still up on the day, so it's still, like, we're still going up, which is great. Joshua says, why is SPY so weak? I expect a pullback soon, especially with technicals, but I want to jump today. VIX is so low, it's crazy. It always spikes a few days after. Is VIX really low? Let's check it out. Check out the daily on the VIX. Ooh. Yeah, VIX is actually right at a pretty big trend line, guys. Wow, I got to take a picture of this. Hang on, guys. Got to post this up. Gotta post this, wow. That is an insane chart, guys. How do you guys, what do you guys think of this chart? And here, the reason I want to show it so much is because look at what happens at the end of these wedges. Look at what we get every single time that these wedges get broken here. I mean, we're talking like insane uptrends whenever these wedges get broke. Yeah, that is actually awesome. Like, right off the bottom level, though, guys, had to post that in the premium portion of the Discord. But sheesh, that is freaking amazing, guys. Still continuing there. Oh, wow, guys. The Fed President Bullard confirmed 50 basis, basis points just now.
Wow. Someone said it anyways in chat. Someone, uh, someone try to, I guess try to, like, fact check me on that one. Spies popping, though. They confirmed 50 basis points. Did they? I gotta go look at this. Hang on. Gotta go on my... Yeah, he did, actually. He said that prospects for a soft landing have improved markedly. That's good. Great stuff. He also said that he expects inflation to recede this year, just not as fast as people are expecting. I mean, hey, it's already going down quite a bit. Every time we get the reading every month, it's been going down a lot. So I'll take that. I will take that, guys. <clears throat> Corbin says, don't we usually have an FOMC conference when they release info about rates? Yeah, but this is not actually set in stone. You know, this is just the St. Louis Fed president Bullard was speaking today at a speech, I believe. And during the speech, he said some of these things, you know, and people ask him questions. And I'm guessing that he uh, answered some things in a certain way. But yeah, what he's saying is pretty good. He says that there's a soft... That, here we go. I'll pull up the news here for you guys. There's a few big headlines here. It says the prospect for a soft landing has improved markedly. It said December projection expected end 2023 rate to be in 5.25 to 5.5% 5 .5 range. It says inflation will recede, but not as fast as the markets are expecting. Bullard says Fed wants to err on the side of tighter side to allow a disinflationary process to take hold. Okay. What the hell is this? U.S. Justice Department says it says it to announce an international cryptocurrency enforcement action. What? Uh... What's up with this news? <laughs> I gotta go see if this is in the uh, Discord here. Yeah, it is. Wow. I don't know if that's bad or good for crypto, guys. Let's check out Coinbase, though. Yeah, watch Coin, Mara, Riot. Check those stocks out just in case we see some uh, pretty crazy movement here. U.S. Department. U.S. Justice Department. The, the way that these guys word these things are so wrong. Like, you can't even say them correctly. It's so dumb. It says, U.S. Justice Department says it, says it to announce, like, <laughs> like, come on, can you guys, <laughs> they, I guess they mistyped it or something. I don't know, I hate it though, because every time I go to say it, it like, my brain like processes it wrong because they typed it wrong. Peter says, Japan is buying U.S. bonds like crazy, so HYG slash TLT, etc., is going crazy, which is propping up the market. Could be, I mean, I'm not sure Japan, you know, buying bonds has is the main reason why we're moving up. But that's probably a big thing there, Peter, 100%. 100%. HYG. 
We'll see how that one did today. Yeah, pretty good. I like watching HYG. TLT, though, is the big one I watch more. Buying bonds like crazy. Is that the big news that came out last night, Peter? Peter, is that the news that came out last night that everyone was talking about with Japan? I got back from the gym and I saw it and I was like, hmm. SPY, come on. Do you guys think we can get up through 400 or not today? Can't believe we're just still sitting here stagnant. I'm going to start a poll. Can we get through 400? Just making up the poll real quick, guys. Real quick. All right, guys, just threw out the poll. There we go, guys. Corner says Oxy's coming up for a triple top. Spy's actually starting to move back up, too. Wow, Oxy is looking good. Let's go, Sean. That's fantastic. I posted about that in Discord this morning. It's part of my morning update. Yeah, wow, we just had the free sniper bot call out Oxy as well. Huh. It says alert type, low momentum detected. Oh. Low momentum, what the? The hell is the bot broken? <laughs> low momentum. Man, I don't know. This is the best momentum it's had in like a week. I don't know what they mean by low momentum, but okay. I know on the one minute it looks a little whack, but that's just, I think that's just how Voxy looks. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is getting a little overextended, though. Damn. I feel like it could be fire. Come on, oil. We need to keep going. Come on, oil. Let's prove the bot wrong and show that there is momentum. <laughs> Still called it though, which is good. JG Marine says, will PRTY stay halted? Yeah. Yeah, it will. I think so. Yeah, I don't think that's going to come back here today. I don't think it's going to come back online. I think it's done. Are they going bankrupt finally? Let's see. Party City files for bankruptcy. Officially, I guess. They were preparing. Now they officially did. So I guess that's what's going on with it. Yeah. Yeah. Halted, news pending, chapter 11 filing, okay. Bankruptcy to wipe out shareholders. Wow, let's read this. The party favor retailer has filed for chapter 11 bankruptcy, says it planned debt restructuring, says its planned debt restructuring will wipe out current shareholders. It will wipe them out. Wow. Wow. In an SEC filing, Party City says a support agreement with a group of note holders 
calls for the swap of its secured notes for equity in the reorganized company, along with the cancellation, extinguishment, and discharge of its existing common stock. Oh, shit. With current holders receiving no recovery or distribution. Ooh. Those poor guys. Man, I'm sorry, guys. Be careful. I'll tell you what, guys. This should make you think nice and hard about, like, Bed Bath & Beyond and AMC and GameStop. Wait till those stocks uh, start wiping people out, too. Yeah, see, it says a year ago they were trading for 5 bucks. Now they're 37.4 cent. Wow. Sorry, Party City. But I ain't partying there anymore. Sheesh. Yeah, that drop down has been terrible. Poor company. Another one bites the dust, though, guys. Like, oh, why, why does it have to be? Why does it have to be? Wow, that spy got close to 400. There we go. Sean says, Zoom day trades ready. And Moi says, Spy touch 400. There we go. <laughs> Joshua says, Come on, Spy, run for daddy. <laughs> Daddy's got 400 strike calls. <laughs> Whew, I love that. Christian says, Out of the trap, was down 2,500. Now he is up. Good stuff, Christian. Yeah, we got close to that support. Holding up pretty good. Yeah, nice stuff, Christian. Let's go. Let's go. Back in the green, baby. Very nice. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. Let's end the day green. Let's go. And guys, don't forget to smash that like button. Yesterday, we got above 20 likes. It made me very happy. If we don't get back above 20 likes today, I might have to go move out into a box on the street, guys. So let's get up to 20 likes. Or else I've got to move into a cardboard box with a... Uh, who, who was that? i got to move in with um, Martha, with Marty Longoria in the box. There we go. Joshua says, who would even think... A store based purely off party stuff would last? Yeah, I'm with you, Joshua. Who would think that, to be honest? Who would think that? I'm with you. I also kind of feel like, how is GameStop going to last, you know? Like, why Why does GameStop last? Like, I'm wondering. I'm thinking, like, GameStop should kind of go away, too. Especially given that we have, like, Steam and all that stuff going on. Hey, Hunter, what's up? Hunter's in here, guys. Let's go. Let's go, Hunter. Nice to see you. Peter says Tom needs gas for his hell kitten. 100% I do. Talking about the gas, we need a we need some gas to help us push up through spy. Come on, Oxy. We need some gas. And Marty says we'll be neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We could be neighbors, Marty. I actually, I won't even get a box. I'll just live under the damn tree. Warren says, it seems like Spy's been stuck in this range forever. It has. We've been here all morning just not moving out. Not getting any movement. But I have a feeling that sometime shortly here, we're going to get a nice break up through 400. It can be pretty good here. Should be great. Sean says Apple is in beast mode. Is it? Is it pushing spy higher? Oh, hell yeah. You're right. We should have went with Old Faithful. I think Christian's right. Yeah, Old Faithful was the way to go here today. The big dog. I like to call Apple the big dog. You know, it's the... It's Old Faithful, the big dog. I don't know. It's definitely the market-making stock, in my opinion, though. I'm not sure it's the biggest one by valuation anymore. I think it is, especially since Tesla fell off. But So 
Sorry about that, guys. I had to grab a grab my Gatorade real quick. I don't have any monster today, of course. Damn it. Gotta go get some, probably. Yeah, Joshua says, as a gamer, games are bought online. I have not bought a physical disc in so long. I haven't either. I mean, I'll tell you what. I would never buy another disc machine. Like, I would never buy another PlayStation or anything like that. With a disc in it. With a disc. I would buy it with, uh, you know, the digital version or whatever. Like they have with the PS5. But Come on, Zoom. Let's go. Let's get the big break going. Man, guys, Zoom is running. Let's go, Zoom. Let's go. That was Mike's free day trade today, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Up above 71. He likes it. Holding 71 well. Yeah, it's actually a good little break out there. Here we go. Not bad. Good little run. You know, 34 cents or something. Let's see if Coinbase or anybody's moving with that volatility. Or moving with any of that news coming out of the Justice Department. I actually like that they are uh, regulating crypto. You know, that's... That's something that I think needs to be done. Like, I honestly don't even want to put my money into it unless it's regulated. I mean, like, look at the FTX shit. Look at right there. There's there's one big reason. <laughs> Not even Tom Brady can stop FTX or stop the cryptos when they go wrong. Oh, shit. Oh, geez. Poor Tom Brady. Oh, man, talking about Tom Brady, I feel so bad for him right now. I don't feel bad for him, but... There's Spy, guys, right at $400. Check it out. Let's go. A big run. We'll take that. Come on. Don't you dare. Don't you dare reverse back. Don't you fucking do it, Spy. No. No spy. <laughs> Man, this spy is rough here. The spy needs to quit flushing down every time we touch 400. Those sellers come in drastically there. Wow. All right, well, so far, you know, we're just sitting here waiting. So far. I think we'll end up getting a break here sometime soon, though. At minimum, we got to get a better move than this, right? I mean, I would say. At minimum. At minimum. All right, I'm going to go check out the SM bot here. Love looking at that thing for momentum, guys. If you guys want to check it out, it's part of Stat Modeling, which is awesome. So you get access to the hybrid bot, the sniper bot, and you'll get a ton of tools like the SM bot. The SM bot's calling out Amazon calls right now, AMZN. Okay. Dang, Amazon. The 
bots calling on Amazon calls was kind of going down. Man, Amazon, come on. We need some help on that one. What about Tessie? Come on, Tessie. Ah, Joshua says, just passed a Starbucks. Holy shit, Joshua. How many times are you going to post that? Oh, my God. Hang on. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of time. Josh says Brady lost because he didn't kiss his son before the game. <laughs> I guess that, that might be why. You're probably right, Joshua. Damn it. God forbid. Man. Yeah, it broke 400, but... I mean, it honestly broke 400 kind of like last yesterday morning. You know, broke and then came right back down. We didn't get any confirmation candles above it. Like, nothing held. But with, we're really close still. I mean, we could get, be right back up there in a matter of seconds, honestly. We're already halfway there now again. But yeah, just past a Starbucks, starting to think how their stock is so high. But the line is always so long. They have loyal cult members. <laughs> I might wait on puts, lol. Joshua, 100%. For anybody, for anybody who's followed the stream for a while, man, it is funny, Joshua. Cornish always talks about uh, this one being pumpkin spice. He always calls Starbucks pumpkin spice. And yeah, this one's done so, so well on the dip ever since COVID. I mean, this has been a crazy stock. I mean, well, I'm at the recent dip, but it's a crazy stock. I cannot believe how many times that they, uh, <laughs> he says he didn't mean to click it that many times. That's funny. But yeah, I can't believe how many people go here and how long the lines are. I'll tell you, Joshua, where I live, which is like around like the St. Louis area, St. Louis, Missouri, Starbucks, like the place by me has like a line. If I went there right now and I tried to get a coffee, I am telling you that it would be a fucking circle around the building with cars. Like I, I honestly will not wait in it. I, I won't. I, I refuse to do it. I won't wait in the line. <laughs> I'll never ever wait in the line. I'll just go to fucking McDonald's or Holy hell, I I actually uh bought a coffee maker this weekend, guys. We get, send me some coffee recommendations for all my coffee drinkers out there. My dad says to drink Folgers or something. Simply smooth Folgers. And I'm like, "Get out of here. I like the dark roast or something." <laughs> I was like He was like just drink the Simply Smooth stuff. You like it. I was like, I don't know. Sean said that the pumpkin spice, they put something in it. Yeah, they definitely do. Warren says, same with Chick-fil-A. Yeah, I'm with you, Warren. I'm with you. Same. But I'll tell you what, Warren. I'll wait in that one. <laughs> I will wait in Chick-fil-A's. Man, that food is good. Now, I'm not lying. The coffee's good, too. But when I'm hungry, I'm hungry. So, I don't know. I feel like that maybe I just like food better. But <laughs> Yeah, same thing with Chick-fil-A for sure. Man, Spy, come on. Talking about these stocks is making me hungry, man. Easy Rider Danger says in Seattle, they have a coffee stand drive through every block. I wish, Ryder. I wish they had that here. That'd be awesome. Sean says, I like McDonald's coffee, the stuff you can get from the store. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Peter says, Dutch Brothers has the best coffee. But he says, Black Rifle Coffee Company is the best. You know, I've actually, that's one I've looked at a lot, too. I've looked at that one a lot, Peter, the Black Rifle coffee. I was thinking about picking some up. Like I said, I just got the maker, so 
That might be the first one I get, actually, is the uh, black rifle one. Hunter says, Speeder and Earl's is the best U.S. coffee. It's a local place in Vermont. It's a thousand times better than Green Mountain Coffee. What is Green Mountain Coffee? Let's look this up. Green Mountain Coffee. Oh, oh, okay. I've seen this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I see. Cool. Okay, I've seen this. I've seen this. Keurig Dr. Pepper. <laughs> That's funny. You know, my girlfriend's brother is actually like a financial uh, analyst for Keurig Dr. Pepper, which is pretty cool. At their St. Louis location, I guess, anyways. Huh. Let me look that up real quick, actually. Keurig Dr. Pepper, St. Louis. Okay. Huh. I guess that's where he works. <laughs> Look at this. Someone con someone gave him a review. Lady on the speaker needs to be fired. <laughs> oh, that lady must have pissed somebody off. That is funny. I like it. So what's it called? It's called uh, Earl's? Speeder and Earl's. Okay. Speeder and Earl's. Perfect. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Hunter, these guys are, are looking sus up there. I, I don't know about this. No, I'm just kidding. Let's see. Speeders blend. Man, that guy on the right, like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> like, the guy on the left looks perfectly normal, and the guy on the right... Looks like fucking Jabba the Hutt with a mustache. Like, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not saying the coffee's bad, but man, this guy here, I... <laughs> it's seriously like Jabba the Hutt or something. Like, what? I like it. All right, let's see some popular products here. Whoa! Nice! Like, this looks beautiful, man. This lake with the dog. Hmm, I can smell this picture right here. I can smell this picture. Make it fair blend. Hmm. Huh. Pretty cool, though. I want Colombian Supremo. Colombia. Vanilla decaf. That actually sounds pretty good. Is that too sweet, though? I like it. Hunter goes, that's a Vermonter. <laughs> oh, uh oh. Watch out there, Peter, or uh, Hunter. Corner says, my stepson just moved to Seattle. <laughs> I should send him to go meet a guy named Easy Rider Danger. <laughs> oh. Give him the uh give him the task, Sean. If he finds easy rider danger, the tell your stepson I'll give him a reward. That would be funny. Easy rider danger says if the coffee stand is painted like a milk cow then that means the server will be wearing very little clothing. Super weird. Does that mean very little clothing, Easy Rider Danger? As in, like, what I'm thinking? Like, are some, like, women out there serving uh, <laughs> serving the coffee in the morning with, with no clothes on or something? <laughs> is, that, is that what's going on? Wow. Hunter goes, I confirm it. I lived there for four years. They either looked like that or they were hikers in very good shape. There was no in-between. I like it. I respect it, man. Job of the hut. <laughs> what do I want to buy, though? Guatemalan? What does that say? Kuwait and Honego? 
the white than Nago? What the? I can't say these things. All right, we're going to get the Italian roast. Boom. I might have to get some of this. I'm not going to lie. Oh. Crap, I don't know which way I do this. Drip. I guess drip is the way I do it. Five pound bag. 67 bucks. I actually don't sound that bad. I want to go see that black rifle stuff real quick. Sean goes, <laughs> oh, I love it. Sean goes, that's it. I'm going to the milk cow coffee stands from now on. <laughs> oh, me too, Sean. I'll see you there. I'll see you there. Oh. Peter says, Spy only has 13 million volume. Is that not a lot for the spy? I I forgot how much like on a daily is like normal here. On a daily level. Let me go look at it on good old Thank or Swam. Thank or Swam. For all my southern guys out there. It's a pretty cool name though. Think or Swim. Like who came up with that? They deserve a reward. All right, let's go to that daily. Yeah, it definitely does look like a lower volume type day, don't it? So far. Yeah, I mean, like, look at that. We barely crested the surface. Yeah, 14 million there. Yesterday we had 62 million. I don't know. We're kind of on track. The 10 day average is 76 million. Yeah, I was looking. I was like, something around there sounds right. Okay, so one of these days we were at 50 million. Hmm. I don't know. I, I It definitely seems like a slower type day, though, as far as the movement goes. Sink or swim. Yeah, I like they should have named it that, Corbin, to be honest. I think they should have done it. Easy says, Yeah, they're copy baristas. Basically strippers <laughs> basically strippers server creepers coffee. <laughs> what? They serve the creepers coffee, I think is what he's trying to say. All of a sudden, dudes in big lifted Ford started drinking cappuccinos. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's funny, Ryder. Yeah, I'll be showing up there, too, myself. I'll be there. Joshua says, I want to tell my parents that I want to be a full-time trader. But I'm going to turn my 3K into 12K, then tell them. <laughs> yeah, gotta let the account speak for itself. If I told them now, they'd think I'm stupid. They might, I mean, they might either think you're stupid or they might think you're trying to help yourself. Sink or swim is a popular saying. Yeah, it definitely is. That's why I thought maybe, yeah, I look at think or swim and then I'm like sink or swim, that... That makes more sense, you know, like, especially like in like the stock market, you know, because like you're not going to think or swim in the stock market. You're going to sink or swim. You know, I mean, that's either what you're going to do. It's not like you're going to, you know, stay the same and float. <laughs> I don't know what thinking has to do with swimming at all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, I think it's funny. Sink or swim. I like it. I think they should, we should come out with our own uh, program and call it Sink or Swim. I wonder if they would like, I don't even think that would, I think that would be allowed. I don't think they could sue you for that. 
I think that sounds like it'd be good enough. Josh says, or they'll say I have a gambling addiction. He says, it's only an addiction until you start making gains. 100%, Joshua. I feel you there. And also, Joshua, hey, if you started selling puts and acquiring shares and then selling covered calls, I'm not saying you don't, but you know, I just don't know yet if you do or not. If you start selling the puts, running the wheel strategy and stuff like that, you start showing them some good gains. Maybe they'll, uh, you know, maybe they'll really support you then because, you know, then you're not doing anything risky either. I will say, if you're looking to turn that 3K into 12K, you're going to have to be doing some risky stuff here, Joshua. Fairly risky. At least if you're going to turn it into that quick. You know, it might take you like six months, something like that, to a year, maybe even more. I mean, you're talking, that's like 400%. That's actually a... Hell, if people made 400% on average, they'd be fucking rich all year. I forgot what they say. Hunter might be able to help me with some of these numbers here. I think, like, some of the best hedge funds in the world, I think, make, like, 12% a year or, like, 15% a year, something like that. And we're talking about the best hedge funds in the world. Yeah, that's good, though. Peter says, did you see Mean Tweets is coming back to Facebook and Twitter, I believe? No, I did not see that. Does that hurt DWAC? Dwack? I, Mike called it Dwack the other day, and I was like, I never heard anybody call it Dwack. And I was like, what are you saying? He's like, Dwack. And I'm like, am I hearing you right? And he's like, yeah. DWAC, and I was like, oh shit. Like, Dwack, okay. I like Dwack. Wow, how's Apple? Are they still running up here? What about Microsoft today, baby? MSFT. Oh. Ooh, Tesla. Wow, Spy, come on. Let's go. Let's try to get above 400 here. Wow, those yields today are pretty crazy, Peter. I know earlier he was talking about the yields. They really are going nuts here. Sink or swim, baby. Man, I'm going to turn into a singer, guys. I'm going to become a singer. Josh says, I turned my account from 800 to 7,000 overnight with a put call on Moderna. Good times, but I had a kid that took the money out, but now I'm back. Nice, Joshua. Yeah. Nice. I mean, hey, I'm glad you uh, were able to do well on that option on Moderna. That's awesome, man. That's great. Hopefully it keeps going well for you. You know, just, I will say, just be careful, you know. 
Playing earnings isn't... I'll just say this. I rarely see people do well who play earnings all the time. But hey, let's uh, uh, maybe check out Christian in the Discord, man, if you ever want to like... Uh, what do they call that? I guess network with somebody, Joshua? Christian's always talking in there. You could like add him in there. Just at Christian and uh, maybe... You'll, you'll see him talking about earnings, I'm sure, especially with Netflix coming up. I'm sure he already fired something off, honestly. He does pretty good sometimes. That's cool, though. 800 to 7,000 overnight. That's a big jump. Man. What the? Oh, I meant KHC. Whoa, Kraft Heinz. What happened to them today? What the hell happened to ketchup? Oh my god. <laughs> wow, they hit right off resistance again and died. I gotta see the news on craft, guys. Sean, what's happening with ketchup? No. I don't see any news with it either. Weird. Really weird. What the? Maybe it's like the inflation news with the feds today? I, I don't know, guys. But, I mean, this is, like, straight down. I mean, we're... Kraft Heinz is down 4%. Like, this this does not happen all the time for good old Kraft. Not all the time. It has happened, like, in the past... Like, on May 18th. But it don't happen too often with Kraft. Hmm. It's a big jump. Especially for no news, you know. I, I was expecting to see something. The fuck? Guess it is what it is. Damn. That sucks. And then meanwhile, we got the meme stocks going up 10%. Yay! <laughs> I love when that happens. Maybe that's why it's going down. Because all these meme stocks are going up now. I don't know. Probably not. That's crazy, though. <laughs> yeah. Past five years, hedge funds averaged 7.2%. Hunter says, underperforming the market's returns. <laughs> I love that, Hunter. The smartest people in finance could have spent zero on technology for their firm, bought SPY, and made more money. 100%. Yeah, the SPY, what? The SPY averages like something around 8%. So, yeah, that, that's funny. <laughs> Sean says, I'm shocked and appalled. They can't do that to catch up. No, they can't. That's just wrong. Volunteer's looking good, though, Sean. It was. If Palantir and DraftKings goes up, I'll be honest, Kraft could go to zero for all I care. If these things keep running. Dang, that's a crazy jump on this stock. Man, Spy is going to keep rejecting at 400, guys. Be careful here today. Be careful. We're starting to come down now with some authority. Some authority here. Tesla's right on support at 132. If we fall under 132, some puts might be pretty good here. Actually, uh,
Wow. Pretty big support there, though. Not bad. That is pretty big, what Hunter said, though. The smartest people in finance could have done better if they just bought SPY. It's true. Especially last year. I'd like to see the average last year, Hunter. Man, I wonder how many would be in the red. Probably a ton. Probably a ton, but wow, Disney's not looking bad, honestly. Today, it's intraday. I like the way it's setting up. Holding 100, starting to move up above like 101. Okay. Not bad at all. Let's take it. All right, Zom. Oh, the sniper bot called out Oxy. That's what it was. 65 strike calls. Wow, Oxy kept going, guys. Nice. <laughs> I still like how the bot said low momentum detected and Oxy was like ripping. <laughs> I don't know. He's ripping up, though. Come on, Oxy, keep going for us. Probably start to take some profits up here, guys. It's getting pretty overextended, to be honest with you. Yeah, I would say probably take some profits soon on that one. Wow, there we go. Turn it over. Take some profits, man. <laughs> there we go, though. Wow, it really is turning over now. Dang, that sucks, kind of. All right, Spy. You gonna make me happy or sad? Damn it, it's gonna make me sad. Wow. Can't believe it's just falling off again. Failed breakout once again today. I wasn't expecting it to run back up to 400 today, and then once it happened, I thought maybe we'd get a breakout, but nope. All right, well, hey, I gotta go find me some, uh, I gotta go find me some milk cow poppy stands. Hell yeah. Go get some milk cow coffee here. But uh, hey, I appreciate you guys joining up. Thank you, Sean, Hunter, Joshua, Peter. Easy Rider Danger, Mua Family, Corbin, Warren J, Keisha, of course, Christian, Hunter, if I didn't say him yet, Marty Longoria or Martha, Jamie. Seriously, thank you guys so much for being here. As always, we will be live again tomorrow at Market Open. Let's go. Hopefully tomorrow we can get a big breakout up through 400. I know today, you know, might have been a bit like slower of a stream. I was really sitting there waiting for that break for a while. And, you know, the price action just went really kind of like flat. We didn't get any big moves, no big breakouts. So that sucked to see there. But, you know, we did see some stocks moving up earlier, especially like Apple, for example, that was ripping earlier on. Uh, the sniper bot play on Oxy did very well. So there we go. Uh, hey, I appreciate you guys, though. Have a great rest of your day. Kill it in the markets today. Let's bring in some profits. If you have any nice profits, post them up in the profits channel. That will be awesome. So let's go, guys. Have a great day. And Peter says, give us a Mexico video. I don't know, Peter. It's a little rainy where I am here. I, I don't think I can do a Mexico video today. There might be a Mexico video coming up, though, I think. Yeah, we'll have, there, there'll be a Mexico video in the future, Peter. I can promise you that one. But Hunter said a long time ago, Buffett bet from 2008 to 18.
that the spy would outperform a basket of handpicked best hedge funds, and he won one million from it because he was right. Wow. Damn, Hunter, that's pretty insane. I can't believe that over that time, you know, they they outperformed the handpicked best hedge funds. That's pretty insane. Huh. I guess that just goes to show you how hard trading really is, guys. But have a great day. Come on, let's go. If you have any nice profits, post them up in the profits channel. Maybe say you're from the live stream too. That'd be sick. But have a great day, guys. Let's kill it. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.